How's it going, Fallout fans? Uh, it's Nick and Mage here. Uh, I'm shooting another video here for the creation kit. Um, gonna shoot a video on how to make a character, uh, and then that'll be the first video. And then shortly after that, I'll make one how to turn them into a uh, merchant, and then probably then how to m turn them into a follower. Uh, but the follower might might take a day or so. Uh, for right now, let's let's learn how how to uh, make a character and put an NPC into the world. All right, so first of all, we go to actors, and you know here's a list of actors. Uh, you could hit new, but uh, I've been seeing people having weird errors where you can't edit some of this stuff, which is really bad. So uh, what we've always done in the past is we'll find a character that already exists in game, like say we'll take Abbott here, and you'll duplicate them. We'll go into the copy. Uh, sometimes it was, in Skyrim it was like a faction issue, and like relationship issue. So, we'll, you just duplicate, seems to work, so we'll go from there. Okay, so, uh, we're going to do NPC, actually just give it NPC mod, and I'm going to call this guy, uh, we'll, we'll just say follower for now, follower, and NPC. Uh, I, I like to... I like to ID things correctly. In my mind, it helps out. Um, when, when you make huge mods, start uh, ending with NPC, you'll know it's an NPC, and then because I might call it follower, and then it might be follower merchant NPC, blah, blah, blah. So for now, we're just going to call him follower. Uh, actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll start with merchant. Actually, that sounds better. Same thing here. Merchant NPC. Short name, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so unique means there will only be... Uh, one, uh, one of these NPCs in the game, so we'll leave that on. Uh, essential means they cannot die, which will also keep that. So when you when they take too much damage, they'll drop down to one knee, or whatever it is that they do. Uh, protected is kind of like essential, except for I, I believe it's you can kill them, but other creatures can't. So we'll leave that out. Uh, respawn, we'll click that. Actually, we'll leave it off because you don't really need it. Uh, is character gen face preset? It's, uh, it has to do with the face, uh, so we'll, we'll just leave that on. It's a, it's a preset, basically, so you'll save the face to a file, and the game will have to pull that file back up. Uh, it was a problem in Skyrim where, like, if you changed the skin color, uh, it wouldn't show up properly on the face, so you'd have to, like, uh, uh, export the face. It's, we'll, just, we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, it doesn't affect the stealth meter. If you want a follower that won't blow your cover when you're stealthing, you pretty much always won't just have that click doesn't affect the self meter so they're basically always quiet uh, you can consider that uh, game breaking I don't just I, I, I prefer it that way uh, this one's new I'm not sure what diffuse alpha test is we'll just leave it blank for now summonable uh, was a Skyrim thing for sure with conjuration you can summon them is a ghost doesn't mean that uh, uh, they're invisible it just means that you can't interact with them so if you were making a quest where uh, they were just NPCs in the background, and you couldn't talk to them. You couldn't do anything with them. That's what is a ghost would be. Invulnerable is about essential, except for you can't even hurt them. So it's game breaking. It's just really weird <laughs> to have an invulnerable godlike character. So we'll leave that out. Doesn't bleed is the same uh, thing. Obviously, there are bleeds in the game, uh, damage over time. We'll leave that blank. Uh, simple actor um, is more for background NPCs. You know, so we'll leave that. Blake also, and I'm not really, no activation or hellos is probably like a ghost except for um, they'll show up when you when you mouse over them in game, but for now I'm not really sure, so we'll leave that blank. Um, race is of course what race they're going to be, human race or a Mr. Handy or a gorilla, Liberty Prime, so on and so forth this is all pretty, uh, all pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, in this case we're going to make it female go away warnings so she should be may not show I don't I really don't like this new uh, this new way where it's like constantly rotating but you can't ever really look at a what's what's that I don't know I don't really care <laughs> but uh, sh she'll come out female opposite gender animations is if you want it to be male oh yeah so that's female if you want it to be male but you want them to walk like a female or uh, have gestures like a female. Does she have a beard? That is the creepiest thing I've seen. 
<laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, voice types are obviously voice types. Um, apparently, each of these NPCs has uh, specific ones. Uh, this one looks generic, so we'll go with generic for now. You'll notice there's only a certain amount of voice actors in any Bethesda game. Then they start to be reused, like uh, that that Bostonian guy. <laughs> you hear him all over the all over the place. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do that for now. Skin is a little different. We'll leave that blank for now. Disposition is basically how they're gonna how they're gonna uh, talk to you. Or actually, I'm sorry, what their facial expressions are going to be towards you. So if it's at zero, no matter what, anytime you talk to them or look at them, they're going to look at you with disgust. If you put it to 100, uh, every time they look at you, they'll have a smile. They'll probably have a smile on their face, uh, and, and they'll be much lighter. So we'll leave it at 100 for now. Uh, weight, muscular. So obviously this is going to be body size, body type. Uh, we'll leave that blank. You can fiddle around with what you want. Uh, a death item is when they die, what <clears throat> what generally do they have on them that you can loot? So we'll leave that at none because they're essential. Uh, stats, relatively self-explanatory. Uh, in Skyrim, in Skyrim, uh, there were more choices, um, but this one is going to be a merchant, so we'll just call it a Minuteman for now. Base health, calculated health so if you let go of the auto calculation and you actually leave it on and let's say at level 30 what's going to happen see how the calculated health jumped up because that's every time they level up blah 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 you know all that stuff will level up too uh and this just means that at 30 or they'll always be level 30 if you hit pc multiple level more multiply or pc level mult basically means they'll level up when you level up. So when a player is level 29, this character will be level 21. And that's pretty much essential if you're going to have a follower. Um, so we'll, we'll hit that for now. And of course, you can increase their base health um, to give them a little more of an edge. Uh, obviously, right now I can't. <clears throat> uh, and you can calculate. So for that, so that's, that's that for now. Um, here's uh, scripts for special scripts. Preview full, go away. Preview head, go away. Okay, at least your beard's gone. That's good. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing this auto rotate crap. Okay, so templates. Oop. Okay, so this is a little different from what I'm used to. Default templates. Uh, yeah, you can. Let's say you wanted her to be part of the railroad. Uh, you you would probably just go. Let me see, railroad is that? Yeah, railroad genetics, generic synth, headquarter generic. I kind of like that. Let's 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 make her. Ooh, an assault minutemen. There we go. Female. So well, I would imagine those would have probably filled themselves out, but for the most part, she'll probably. Actually, let's leave it blank. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with that. <laughs> it used to be attack types, um, in Skyrim. I'm not really sure if it's true or not anymore. Go away. Factions is, of course, yeah, see, crime, Diamond City. So if you were to uh, make crime against her, like, oh, I lost everything. Creepy. That's pretty much it. Okay. Actually, now, before we make any more weird changes, we can do form. No, I've already duplicated it. Hit yes. We'll save. Oh, haven't saved it yet. So we'll save it under uh, uh, MPC. NPC mod, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we'll find it, because I've prefixed it. So NPC mod. There you go. There she is. Uh, you probably pretty much do that. Right when you make the name, right when you fill this stuff out real quick, save it, save it, and then come back. Okay, so here we go. Uh, if you were to make crime against her, like shoot her or steal from her pickpocket, uh, you would get a Diamond City uh, uh, what, <laughs> bounty. Uh and she's considered settlement to Diamond City, so the people of Diamond City will probably not like you, so on and so forth. There's other factions. Here, here is basically how we add her to become a merchant also. But for right now, let's just delete these. We're going to keep her blank for right now. Relationship is how you can you know make them 
I don't know. I, I never really found too much a reason for a relationship other than you can make them to where you can marry them in Skyrim. Yeah, you probably could do the same thing here, but I haven't yet to find like a get married in Fallout. So you could probably turn them into a lover so that you can get the lover perk. Um, for right now, we'll leave it blank. Keywords is more, more animation. Irritated. <laughs> Irritated. Um, keywords is more for the game to how uh, how to talk or how to deal with this character is with keywords. Uh, AI data is going to be um, how they interact with things in the world. So unaggressive basically means they're weak and they're just scared all the time. Uh, frenzied means they'll attack anything, kind of like a like a, a psycho or whatever. So we want uh, aggressive. That way, if you get attacked. As a player, she'll attack whoever's attacking you. Confidence, foolhardy means they'll never run away. Cowardly means if they're even slightly a match for them, they'll run away. So we'll, we'll do foolhardy. That way, no matter what, they'll, they'll die for you. Uh, helps allies, helps nobody, friends and allies. That's ex explanatory, self-explanatory. Uh, we'll add... Uh, We'll say helps friends and allies. You can pretty much leave it at that. The game can kind of deal with it. Otherwise, in factions, you can add her into a faction that considers the player as a friend or an ally. But with that it, it could probably just deal with it. Morality is they'll turn you in if you make crime. Any crime, we'll do no crime. Mood, oh, it's actually blank. Energy is basically how much they're going to do before they kind of crap out. As far as like attacking, we'll just leave it at 50. Aggro, radius, how close you can get to something before they attack, we'll just leave it blank. Combat style is well, pretty much how they're going to attack, which I think is generally, um, it's probably going to be a generic, probably default combat style, unarmed only. You can add things in here for them to dual wield while they're in Skyrim, you can dual wield. Or like if you if you give her a shotgun and a pistol, which one's she going to use? Uh, in here is how you would, in the combat style, you would just def define that to, you know, always use uh, uh, two-handers over one-handers and blah, blah, blah. So we'll we'll find a nice a nice general one. Um, oh, Pikmin. <laughs> Preston. Preston's probably pretty good. We'll just go with Preston. Uh, gift filter. Basically, you know, when they like you, they'll they'll give you, they'll give you stuff randomly. This is how you do it. So we'll we'll go with. She'll give you. We'll do it. Oh, what was that about vendors? Workshop vendors, resources. I was gonna kind of see if they had ammo. Ammo is always good. Ammo is always good. Mm. Yeah, we'll just do that. Unlimited default. Kind of seems like it'll just be. Whatever. We'll just leave it at that. I don't really care. AI packages is like how to make them more human-like for the game to make them more human-like. So they'll randomly sit down. They'll randomly sleep. They'll randomly eat. They'll just make make them look like they don't just stand there like a like a like a guard at uh, uh, at the queen's palace. You know, <laughs> uh, it makes them more lifelike. AI packages. Oh, we'll get into that later. Uh, inventory is how you dress them and how you give them items. So. For the most part, we'll definitely clear this out because this is all what was in Abbott. So we'll clear it all out. We'll give her, so she's in Alpha, her, the Abbott costume. Let's give her like a Miniman. Let's see if there's like a Miniman. There is Miniman outfit. There we go. So now she'll probably look like either Preston or a general Miniman. Uh, it looks like a general Miniman. Okay, and then we'll also give her, uh, we'll give her a gun. Let's give her a rifle. No, no, that's right. Combat. Combat, we'll give her a combat rifle. And uh, in the game, and thankfully in this game, you don't really have to give them ammo. They seem to just be able to work, which is great. Uh, so we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Uh, spell list, where now it's probably just going to be perks. They used to actually be able to give them spells in Skyrim, where you, know, you gave them magic. Here it's probably just going to be perks. You know, like Nerd Rage. If it gets down too low, she'll oh, nerd out. <laughs> um, and, you know... you. You know how perks work. That This is pretty much... This is how you would make them stronger, too. So you can give them riflemen. You can give them uh, uh, life giver. Or, or uh, I, you could probably give them... Um, what's that? Ghoul perk? Or no, the cannibal perk. But they, I doubt they'll they'll actually eat off people. Uh, for right now, we'll just leave it blank. You get the idea. That's how you give them perks. Uh, and then sounds is what how they're going to sound. That's not to be considered like that stealth sound it's a really more how their volume 
So we'll, do, we'll keep it at normal. I think that's what it is. We'll keep it at normal. Uh, animations. Yeah, when they attack, you can get really personal if you want to. Like, if you're going to make that one epic follower that is going to be legendary, and you want to go through it one by one because for some reason you love Korean games, knock yourself out. I don't really care. Uh, it's not for me. Same thing with attack data. Uh, here's how you actually change their face, which I kind of wish the damn thing would stop rotating so you could actually do that. She bald. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, so hair. So you would, uh, how do you do this? Is it F2? F1? Oh, definitely not F1. F3? Whatever. Is it up here? That's hair color. Facial hair. Complexion. So white. I don't like white. We'll go with... Um, mm, I think it's... No, Auburn. I've always liked Auburn. Make her kind of a redhead. Uh, facial hair now boy how did you oh right so female hair default so you can give her whatever kind of hair you want and it goes by that so facial hair none if it was a male you'd be able to do it teeth oh wow you can do teeth too that's great okay so there you go teeth missing Ugh. The default. I don't, want, I don't even want dirty teeth. It's going to make me sick. And character gen, again, if you want to really work in all their facial expressions. I don't know how you're going to do it in this. Let me... Can I Can I just change that to zero? Zero. Zero. Because I am really, really sick. Oh, this moving... Thank God. Okay, so that's how that worked. It was just doing it on its own. Okay, so there you go. Now you got uh, you basically have a character now. So we'll hit OK. We'll save the game. And right now, you have made an NPC. That NPC doesn't do anything, uh, but we'll, we'll go ahead and drop her in the world. Um, for now, let's why don't we put her in... Let's go to Commonwealth. Since there's not much going on in Red Rocket, let's put her there. So, lot, load Commonwealth, Red Rocket, Red Rocket Exterior. Excuse me. Load that up. Sorry, this video is taking a little bit longer. Um, there is a lot to characters, so if you can actually, if you actually watch the entire video, good for you. At least you'll understand what all these screens are, um, and then just rewind when you have to. But okay, so here we go. Uh, no, let's. There we go. Okay. Hit M to get rid of all these markers. There we go. And was that dog meat? Yeah, so there's dog meat. So we'll make it seem like she lives here. She won't actually live here. But there she is. So how did she look? Oh, yeah, she's kind of cutie. Okay. We'll hit save. And now let's, uh, let's go in game and we're going to see how she works. Okay, so we're in game. Uh, I had a little problems uh, dropping her in Red Rocket in or the Red Rocket gas station. For some reason, reason she just wouldn't appear. So I came over here and dropped her in Sanctuary in the Creation Kit instead. And uh, there she is. There's Merchant. But can't talk to her. How annoying. But she's got nothing to say. Um, probably because she's not anything. She doesn't have any dialogue and all that. But She's in game, and she's not nearly as cute as uh, she was supposed to end up being. So, <laughs> that being said, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to save the game here. Uh, but she does exist, and that's the important part. <clears throat> so, we're going to change over real quick. All right, so here we are. I'm probably going to see what's going on with that voice type. Because that's, that's probably what it is. Um, some voice types don't. Uh, they don't have anything in there to say sometimes, so if I want her to sound like, say, well, well we can go with Thug, but that's probably not the right way to go. Do, 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 do. Uh, where's, what's her name? Is that real, real lady? Ghost or whatever her name was. Glory. Where's Glory at? 
Actually, we can just do that here. See, there you go. There's somebody NPC F Glory. There's somebody in here we know. PC F Glory. We can just take it and use it. So there we go. So now she'll probably sound like. Oh God, what's up with that hair? Um, so there you go. Uh, she exists. She's in the game. She ain't pretty, but that's okay. Um, we don't judge over here. And that's that. So that's how you make an NPC. Um, hopefully she'll talk to us now. Let's hop in the game real quick before I end this video and we'll check it out. Alright, we're loading in now. Um, one thing you're good to, is good to do is save the game somewhere else. Like, if you're going to drop her in Sanctuary here, um, why don't you load an old save to where you haven't been to Sanctuary yet. Sometimes when the game has already loaded a cell and you add something to that cell, it won't count. Bye. So she still isn't talking. Still ugly as all sin. <laughs> no, I shaved that ugly. Um, still not talking. Just doesn't, probably doesn't have a faction. Doesn't really have anything to say to us. Um, I'll figure that out next uh, when we may turn her into a merchant. Because as of right now, we don't really need her to talk. It's just explaining what the NPC stuff is all about. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Please subscribe. Please uh, rate up. And uh, check me out for uh, my next video coming up soon. Thanks.